at six. Incredible video here. People at Wingate are getting a little bit of a deja vu. A train hit an 18 wheeler last night, and it is the second time this has happened in the course of a week. And now people who live there, they want action, and town leaders are stepping up. Queen City News anchor Derek Dellinger has a closer look at last night's crash and the problems the tracks at Wingate have had lately. People who were out here Wednesday night called this crash a mess, and it is still a bit of a mess, as you can see right behind me. It ripped off a railroad crossing arm, forced a road closure that has lasted most of the day and just all around caused a lot of frustration. But there's also a realization that it could have been a lot worse. The hit came as Wilson Huey was at the McDonald's in Winkett. His drive through experience got an unexpected shot. Stopped by McDonald's to get something to eat, and he was like, man, you're that train. I said, yeah. He said, there's a truck on the track. I said, no way. And I said, well, let me get my phone and record it. Something that may seem like it happened out of the blue, but then there's this. Oh, my God. Same area, same issue. The uh, train smashed into it. I can't believe it. Well, it just happened the previous week, you know what I mean? Last week, in fact, where this will happen is rather centrally located. It's near Wicket University, along with the town's fire and police department. So it is not going unnoticed. It was an empty cargo container, but it could have been loaded with wh whatever, you know, God knows what. Brad Sellers is Winkett's town manager who shares in the frustration over the fact that this is not the first time this has happened. It's been an ongoing issue with the town uh, really for the last three years. Uh, when the bypass opened up. Issues involving the tracks may go back years, but for Winkin in the last six months or so, it's been more noticeable and high profile. Forgiving what happened Wednesday night and last Thursday, back in August, a Winkin University student who was on the tracks was killed. Sellers says they've gotten lucky with the two crashes so far. They've been relatively simple cleanups, but noted that the buck does not stop with them. It is not a, it is not a town issue. You know, we don't own that street. We don't own the rails. He says it's a state and CSX issue, and it's something town leaders are taking up with both. Huey wants it addressed. And he says he's willing to take it up himself. The next town, uh, town hall meeting, I, I, I plan on being there because something got to be done, man. Because tr uh, trucks have been using that bypass and cut through. And them low boys, they get stuck on that track right there. The town is just advising people for now to be extra careful, specifically around railroad crossings and specifically this intersection, because they say whatever fix may be on the way won't be coming for a while. And Winget, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.